So this week's video, I wanted to talk about taking care of yourself because I think it's kind of weird lately that people have told me they think I look like I take good care of myself. And this is always such an odd thing to say, I feel like, because I wish you could say that to everyone because everyone should take care of themselves because taking care of yourself is the ultimate way that you can love yourself. You should care for yourself. And that might be eating the right foods or getting exercise, doing things that take care of your mental health, just making sure you are a happy, balanced person and just doing what you need to to take care of you. Um, and part of the reason that I it look like I take care of myself is because I do take care of myself. I do try to make sure I'm not physically stagnant. I'm not an obsessive exerciser anymore. You know, a few times a week is fine and sometimes it's just going up and down the stairs. Um, but I take care of myself in that way. Mental health, I meditate and do yoga and that's really important to me. Uh, and then what I eat. I'm very careful not to eat a bunch of junk and crap all the time. There's an airplane! Anyway. Uh, and the reason I'm so focused on what I eat, getting enough water and hydration and nutrition is because when I was younger, I remember my great-grandparents, as they got older, started to get sick and had problems with their physical health and then Alzheimer's and dementia started to set in and that was really terrifying to me. I want to say I was in elementary school and I'm not exactly sure how old I was. Uh, but my grandmother told me, who is still alive now, I love my grandmother, she's amazing. Uh, anyway, my grandmother told me that the doctors let her know that a lot of the conditions that I was watching my great grandparents suffer with in old age were conditions that were caused by malnutrition, not getting enough water and hydration and not getting the right kinds of nutrients. So my grandmother basically told me that if I didn't take care of myself because her parents weren't taking care of themselves, I could have the same ailments when I was older. And that really, really terrified me. That's a scary thing for someone that age. And I, so that just stuck in my head that, you know, the things that we put in our body throughout our lives have a big impact on how gracefully we age. And I didn't want to see myself going through those same problems. Uh, so, you know, that's why I'm really big on taking care of myself. I didn't start really thinking about or taking care of my mental health until I was much older, in my late 20s, because I really didn't see the necessity or understand that you can't just push yourself all the time and never take breaks and never stop. You know, like you, you need to take the time to love yourself and stop. And now that's why yoga led me to meditating uh, and mindfulness, because those things are things that I use to take care of my mental health. And honestly, until I started doing a lot of meditation, I didn't really understand like how much of a, like this monkey mind thing they have going on in my head and how much it could be, you know, toned down a bit and how much calmer my whole thought process could be. So now that I like how that feels, I am really dedicated to taking care of my mental health as well um, and eating good food. So speaking of eating good food, um, another thing I do is I make sure I take breaks. Uh, so right now I'm on my lunch break and I'm gonna hang up with you guys and eat my lunch, which is my new favorite thing in the world. This um, hemp and chia or hemp and flat, I don't know, toast from Daily Juice and it's got avocado and bell pepper. Oh, so good. Anyway, so I'm gonna eat my lunch now, but you guys have a great week.